In this video, I want us to look at the photoelectric effect. So we're using a simulation here, uh, which you can access online and play with a few parameters yourself. Uh, here's the link here. I hope you can see my cursor. So you can just take this link, paste it in your browser and play with the simulation. Uh, on this website, there's other simulations to you. Uh, on physics, chemistry, uh, I think mathematics too, uh, from really basic stuff uh, to some complicated stuff. Uh, so it really caters for everybody. Uh, if you're in high school, if you're in university, or if you're a teacher, uh, there's something you can definitely play with and find interesting. Uh, I've played with the photoelectric effect. Uh, I've played with uh, momentum and impulse and electric circuits too. Uh, I'm probably going to do a video on electric circuits soon. Uh, so if there's something you'd be interested in, uh, subscribe so that you don't uh, miss out. So we know from um, theory uh, that the energy of a photon is equal to the work function plus uh, the kinetic energy max right um so in photoelectric effect we are mostly interested on uh, the effect of the frequency of the incident light on the metal uh, the effect of the intensity um, when we increase the intensity do we emit more electrons uh, when we increase the frequency you know what happens basically we're playing around uh with this formula that we have here right uh so let me take you through the simulation so here where my case is is where you play with the intensity right uh you can see that when i increase the intensity the light that is coming from uh the bulb or the light source increases when i increase the intensity and when i reduce it it decreases uh, there is at zero and nothing is coming out. And here, uh, where my cursor is, is our metal, right? So we shine in the light on uh, the metal. Uh, we know fully well from theory that if that light is of appropriate frequency, then we're supposed to have some electrons jumping out here. So you can see here, uh, we have our spectrum uh, from uh, the color red, uh, to UV, right? So from uh, longer wavelength to short wavelength or from uh, low frequency to high frequency. And then indeed when you increase our frequency, uh, there's some few electrons jumping out. Uh, let's go back to red so that I can uh, take you through the simulation. And then here uh, we have uh, different uh, materials, right? We have sodium, we have zinc, we have copper, we have platinum, we have calcium, and then you can also choose to have a metal of unknown uh, threshold frequency, right? And then you can play with the simulation to determine what that frequency is. And then here we have a battery, uh, which we set to zero volt, right? So that it doesn't interfere uh, with our experiment, so to say. And then here, uh, we've connected an ammeter and you can see the current. Uh, we know fully well that uh, the current uh, is equal to the charge uh, divided by the time, right? So let's go ahead and play with uh, our simulation. So for number one, uh, let's look at the effects of uh, frequency on emitting, emitting uh, electrons. So from theory, we know that if you increase the frequency, uh, then you stand better chances of emitting electrons from a metal surface, right? Uh, if you don't really understand the photoelectric effect, then I'm going to put some notes on the description. So maybe you'd want to check that out first before you watch the rest of the video. So we add uh lower frequencies right uh in theory when we increase this frequency uh we're supposed to have uh, some electrons uh jumping off at some point right so we at red still no electrons jumping out uh we at yellow no electrons uh we go to green no electrons and then um let's go to blue and see what happens uh we go to blue 
uh, there's still no electrons uh, and then let's go to violet still no electrons uh, let's go to UV uh, there's still no electrons that are coming out right uh, we go deeper into UV uh, we're increasing the frequency and then at around um, 300 nanometers it seems like that's where our electrons jump jump off right now we can say that the cut off frequency the threshold frequency of uh, this metal uh, will be around uh, the speed of light which is c divided by the wavelength right so that is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 uh, divided by uh, what are we dividing by uh, the wavelength right which is uh, 300 uh, about 300 uh, nanometers right and then uh, when we increase uh, the frequency uh, we still have you know electrons jumping off and then clearly when we increase the frequency even the speed of the electrons are uh, it's increasing right so we can see here that uh, when you increase the frequency uh, the speed of the elect uh, emitted electrons uh, will go up right so let's go back to red again now we can see that when you increase the frequency you stand better chances of emitting electrons from a metal just like we see uh, just like we experience right at the red wavelength uh, there was no light being emitted uh, at green uh, no light being emitted but then when we get to UV of higher frequency uh, not light being emitted but electrons uh, electrons start being uh, emitted uh, let's look at uh, other parameters right uh, let's look at the intensity and the effects it has on uh, the amount of electrons uh, being emitted right so let's go to red let's go to red so we know that for red uh, that's below uh, the work function right so our metal is not gonna release any electrons so if we are below um, the work function and we increase the intensity what happens let's see what happens if we increase the intensity while we are below the work function nothing happens right so it doesn't matter whether uh, you make your light source shine brighter if you below the uh, work function you're not going to release any electrons so let's even when we go to green because we're still below uh, the work function uh, we're not releasing any electrons but then when we go to uh, UV and we have a lot of inten intensity uh, from our light source then the amount of electrons ejected is a lot right so let's decrease the intensity and see if uh, the amount of electrons ejected will go down so you can see clearly that when we reduce the intensity the amount of electrons uh, that have been emitted is now less uh, that is because it is said that uh, one packet of light can only eject one electron uh, so today uh, let's leave it here uh, if you have any questions or any comments about what we just did uh, then leave it in the comment section and then I'm gonna do a part two where we test uh, the equations you still have and see what happens